Today's Daily Dose of Math is about using an algebraic model to answer questions. In our situation, for every two cups of cereal, I need three cups of marshmallows. Question A is saying, if I have 18 cups of marshmallows, how much cereal will I need? Question B says, if I have six cups of cereal, how much marshmallows will I need? Now, the problem with this question is it's quite easy to figure out the answers in your head. But if you plunk down correct answers, it's not worth much in the way of marks if it's a test question. Also, I didn't have room to show it on this little whiteboard, but the instructions for this question are saying, use an algebraic model to answer this. So it is insisted that you have to answer it using an algebraic model. So I'm gonna show how to make the algebraic model in a situation like this. Now the model is in the form y equals a x. In the secondary two algebraic modeling course that I'm making this video for. But this situation could also be used to ask a question where you use a proportion. And the answer could be given using a proportion as well. But to use the algebraic model of this form, what we want is to be able to say, for every one cup of cereal, how much marshmallows I need, or vice versa. And we don't have that one to another number relationship given here. We have to figure it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a proportion. I'm going to say for every two cups of cereal, I need three cups of marshmallows. I'll put a C in brackets and an M in brackets to help me remember what goes where in my proportion. I want to know how much marshmallows do I need for every one cup of cereal? So I'm putting a one down here and an X there. I'm going to use this proportion to solve and figure out what number I need so that I can build my model with the form Y equals AX. Now again, you could do this in your head. A lot of students would be able to figure out that X is going to be equal to one and a half, but you need to justify your steps when you do math. So cross multiplying, I get 2x equals 1 times 3, which means 2x equals 3. And then if I divide both sides by 2 to isolate my variable, I get x equals 3 halves, or if you prefer decimals, 1.5. That means I can make a model where y is equal to 1.5x. And this model will work, but the model is not complete. I have to define my variables to have a complete model. So I'm going to say x equals the number of cups of cereal and y equals the number of cups of marshmallows. Now I have a model and I can use it to answer these questions. I'll start with question b. If I start with six cups of cereal, I write my model, y equals 1.5x. Six is cups of cereal, that's the unit. Therefore, six is an x. I can write y equals 1.5 times six. And when I multiply, I get nine. That's my answer, but I need a unit of measure, which is cups of marshmallows. To answer question A is similar, I start with my model, y equals 1.5x, but the 18 cups marshmallows is not an x, that's a y. So I'm replacing the y with 18, and I have 18 equals 1.5x, and what I have to do is divide both sides by 1.5 to isolate my variable. These cancel, x is isolated and is equal to 18 divided by 1.5, which is 12. And the unit of measure is cups of cereal. So what I've shown you here is how to make an algebraic model and then use it to answer questions in a situation like this. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.